Welcome to the 2021 Information Systems Graduation Celebration. I'm Joe Mertz, Director of the IS Program. While we wish we could be celebrating with you in person, we're glad we can at least get together virtually to celebrate this impressive milestone and wish you well as you move on to your future plans. Today's program will have short video messages from all the IS faculty and staff, a slideshow of all of our graduates, and an inspirational student speaker. After that, we will open up breakout rooms for each of the faculty and staff so that you can drop in and say hi and let us congratulate you in person. Congratulations, IS class of 2021. We are so very proud of all of your accomplishments, so please do take today to enjoy. And next time you're back in Pittsburgh, don't be a stranger. Be sure to look me up and a piece of Prantle's burnt almond tort is on me. Take care and congratulations. Hi, congratulations. I just wanted you to know how impressed I've been over the last year. You all took a really unprecedentedly rough time and showed tenacity and resilience that I think is going to serve you so well um, over your lifetime and ways that you can't even anticipate yet. So congratulations. I wish you all the luck in the world. I know you don't need it because you've already shown what you've got. Hi, IS class of 2021. Congratulations. I know that I may not have gotten to know some of you since I only joined the department a few months before we all went remote, but I am so excited for you. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of all that you've done. And I'm really excited to see all of the big things that you accomplish after graduation. Enjoy the celebrations and congrats again. I want to congratulate our information systems graduates. You put in a lot of hard work and you should be very proud of all that you've accomplished. Go out in the world and show them all that you can do. Congratulations. What an amazing moment to be celebrating you here today. Uh, we are very, very happy for you. We are very proud of you. And we cannot wait to see what the future holds for each and every one of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, IS seniors, and kudos on making it through this year. I know all of you will be successful just because of the fact that you did. Good luck in your future endeavors, and don't forget about us. You made it for a very special group, and I hold you all close. My first cohort that I've been with since the beginning, whether you started in IS as an incoming first year or you transferred into the program. So this is a big moment for you and your families and a special moment to me as well, and I'm super proud of you. Working with you over the past few years hasn't felt like a job to me. It's been enjoyable and refreshing, and seeing you all here today is the most rewarding part. Whether we emailed here and there for general check-ins or we met often and I learned everything about your academic and personal lives, which I won't drop names here, um, it's been truly special. I watched you grow, find yourselves, define your paths, face different challenges, and overcome so many hurdles, with one of the biggest being the ability to push through and continue on through a global pandemic that completely shook up your worlds, um, for some of you worse than others, and force a new normal on all of you. This speaks volumes to your strength and resilience. It's truly inspiring, and I hope this shows you that you are capable of anything. As you continue on with life, don't settle, continue to go after what you want, continue to make us proud, and remember to stay true to yourselves. You're all amazing. Congratulations. Dear IS graduating students, congratulations. I know this past year has been nothing short of difficult in the personal, global, academic aspect. But you have all persevered and shown great levels of resilience. And for that, and all your accomplishments during the past few years at CMU, you should be very, very proud of yourselves. I'm sure you're more than prepared and you will find a very successful path ahead. So enjoy the ride. Keep pushing yourselves to impact society to take on those very hard questions, and to always keep being curious. 
Be sure to enjoy the big accomplishments as well as the small ones. And above all, take the time to be healthy, to be mindful, to enjoy this unique moment, and to cherish your loved ones and celebrate with your family and friends. As the only thing in life that we can't get back is time. If you're ever back on campus and you're in need of advice, support, a conversation, or even just coffee, please feel free to drop by. My door is always open for you. So please keep in touch. And again, congratulations. Congratulations, IS class of 2021. For most of you whom I haven't got a chance to meet before, I'm a PhD student at Heinz College, and I joined the IS group last fall as a teaching fellow. And the reason why I've got this balloon is because I too am graduating this May from my PhD program. So I know exactly how excited you must be to have finally reached this pivotal and joyous moment after years of hard work. It must have been a challenging journey for all of you, which was jam-packed with rushing to five lectures in a single day, crunching codes at midnight, never-ending group discussions over the weekend, and so on. But I'm sure they will all become the most precious memories you'll cherish in the years to come. Congratulations again for graduating from one of the most prestigious universities in the world. We should all be proud of ourselves. Let's celebrate together. Hello, everybody. You have just finished four years at CMU. And when you started out, you were chosen because you were the best of the best. And these four years have only made you better. And I'm sure that everything you learned here has equipped you to become tech leaders, contributing to the common good. And as the saying goes, the surest way to make your dreams come true is to live them. So best wishes and good luck. Bye. Greetings, IS graduates. I have to admit, this is a bittersweet time of year for me because I'm really happy for all of you for your graduating and being able to move on and enjoy life and enjoy your careers. But I'm also sad because I've really enjoyed the past you know, few years getting to know you, interact with you, see you on a regular basis. Not seeing you on a regular basis is definitely gonna be a void. Um, but I just wanna tell you I really how much I appreciate all of you, how much I've enjoyed interacting with you, the stories I have of each and every one of you, um, and the memories from 272 and, and 373 and 443 and all those other things um, will stay with me for many years to come. Uh, if I never expected to see you again, at this point in time, I'd say, Hekmaj, which means die well in Klingon. But I do hope to see you again. In fact, it's my sincere desire, my deepest wish, actually, that I would see you again. And so for that, I will simply leave you with a very good, hearty kapla. The end has come. You have accomplished your goal. On to your next journey, time to take control. But is it the end? Why no, it's a restart a future full of promise and the opportunity to follow your heart. Set new goals, change the world, create, design, and reinvent. New challenges and hurdles that you now have the tools to succeed and circumvent. A part of us will go with you as you move forward and march forth to a future so bright. We applaud and cheer you as you migrate on and we watch you take flight. Congratulations on a job well done. Congratulations to each of you for this significant accomplishment. You and your family should be enormously proud. You've made it over the fence, particularly difficult during the last two and a half semesters, and you've shown fortitude, courage, and strength. And you're starting your careers in one of the most exciting and important fields that exists in the world today. I have to say I've been honored and privileged to work with you on 373 and TC and GC, and I look forward to hearing about your many successes and good works. Please connect with me on LinkedIn so we can stay in touch and don't hesitate to reach out if I can help in any way. Now go forth, solve problems, make the world a better place, and remember to always keep your heart in the work. Congratulations everyone, what a wonderful day. 
Before taping this, I perused the photo roster of 262 from fall of 18, both the morning and the afternoon sections. And it did bring back many warm memories. I know that I will miss all of you. Now, this past year, we've been through so many challenges, but finally, the light is at the end of the tunnel. Now, the flip side of any challenge is opportunity. And I believe there are many opportunities ahead for all of you. My estimate is that you have 40 years of professional life ahead. While the destination is at times sometimes unclear, you can always enjoy the journey. And in the end, enjoying the journey is really what life is all about. Now, as you move forward, I'd like to highlight the words of a very wise man, be the change that you seek in this world. That was Mahatma Gandhi. What I'd like for you to consider is to look back at your own experiences these past few years, your experiences as a student, as an intern, and as a person in the job market. How would you have liked someone to have assisted you? You now have that opportunity to offer assistance to others. My experience has been that you can never help others without in some way or some form helping yourself. Please do enjoy the wonderful journey ahead. Do stay in touch. And my congratulations again to everyone. Congratulations to the Information Systems Class of 2021. I would first like to thank you for being part of our IS family. You know, we throw that word out a lot when describing the IS program, and rightfully so. Just as I do with my own children, and yes, even my golden doodle Ollie, I truly want nothing but the best for you. I accept you for who you are, I believe in you, and I will always be rooting for you. IS Class of 2021, you motivate me, you inspire me, and you truly are the number one reason why I love what I do day in and day out. That is my kind of family. Congratulations again. I would now like to introduce you to our information system student speaker. He has an additional major in HCI in which he has TA for one of the classes and is a member of the Bachelor Student Advisory Committee he has two minors, one in Chinese studies and one in media design. Upon graduating, he'll be working as a UX designer at BNY Mellon and plans to pursue a Master of Divinity in the future and ultimately become a professor in HCI. It's my pleasure to introduce Matthew Fang. Oh, I guess it's my turn now. Hello everyone, my name is Matt, and congratulations to class of 2021. Uh, before we get started, I just want to thank all the IS staff, Brandy, Gary, um, Professor Mustawi, it's been such a pleasure working under you, um, and Prof H for being such a great mentor figure, um, and brother in Christ during 272. I also just really want to thank the Christian Fellowship that I was able to lead this past year, and it's been awesome doing that. Now, let's get started. I have a story to tell. Last November, I found out I had a brain tumor. Essentially, this was called Cushion Syndrome, and it was a growth in my pituitary gland in my brain, which caused the overproduction of cortisol, which is commonly known as the stress hormone. Now, cortisol in healthy amounts is good, but unfortunately, I had an overproduction of it, which made life very difficult and had severely damaged my health. You see, I developed extreme insomnia, high blood pressure. Um, I also uncontrollably gained a lot of weight. And worst of all, I developed a blood clot in my right leg. Had I discovered it a week or two later, it could have killed me because it would have gone to my lungs. Now the doctors had no clue what was happening. They actually wrote it out as stress. Um, and that really made me hopeless. Um, in fact, I began to develop self-pity. Um, and actually developed resentment around the people who are very healthy. Um, the elders at church have a Bible verse. They say, and God works for the good 
of those who love him. And it was really hard for me to understand what good was coming out at that moment. You know, when the doctors told me I had the brain tumor last November, I was ecstatic. But I yet to face the worst. By removing this tumor, my cortisol levels would drop from the thousands to zero, and I would experience some extreme withdrawal symptoms. Um, the first few months, I felt extreme fatigue, nausea, and muscle pain. In March, I probably hit my lowest points of my life, where I experienced uncontrollable itching every night, causing me to have almost no sleep that month. Yet these, past few post, yet, these past few months post-surgery were also the months where I grew the most. You see, I began to have a mindset change. Every inch of extreme pain and suffering humbled me, and it made me grateful for any ounce of normal life I had once lived and might foresee in the future. And many other, character, other, many other character traits were sharpened in me, such as patience and perseverance. You know, I also began to empathize and support others who may have also been in pain. But best of all, my relationships improved with my friends who were taking care of me, but also my Lord, who helped me understand what good could arise even in the worst of sufferings. So why am I talking about these two different experiences today? Well, a lot of us today may also be going through something tough, whether it's academic, emotional, physical, and a lot of us have probably made some huge sacrifices and also experienced some unbelievable, unforeseen circumstances that have really affected our lives. Well, my message to you is to not waste that suffering. You see, suffering is the perfect opportunity for us to become more resilient, improve our character, and become better people. And it is the perfect opportunity for us to empathize with the struggling world around us and appreciate the times are good, so we can use that to understand and help those who are less fortunate and going through the same suffering, or even worse, that we once went through. You see, I'm not trivializing the bad things that we go through, but I'm hoping that we don't ground our suffering in the reality of how bad the circumstances are, but rather in the hope of something better for ourselves in the future. It's important for us to not take life or any experience for granted. Well, my fellow IS graduates, congratulations, we did it. All those late nights working on programming assignments, group projects, and even Prof H's Batman or Bakery themed 272 projects, you know, all of these nights have paid off. But many trials and tribulations are still to come. My hope is that as we go through these times of hardship, that we remember not to waste our suffering and instead see it as an opportunity to improve ourselves and the world around us and make it a better place. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you so much for that amazing speech, Matthew. We would now like to celebrate each of you in the next portion of our video. Congratulations!
Back in 1987, I was looking to go back to graduate school to get a PhD. While looking for programs to apply to, I read a brochure from Carnegie Mellon's Engineering and Public Policy Department. My memory was I read this on the web, but that's impossible because the web was not quite a thing yet. Anyway, I read in the brochure for EPP, the garden rake that I stepped on became a weapon. I'm not really sure what the point of that was, probably a negative example of dual use technologies, but it said that Carnegie Mellon was a place where I could think about using computers for good, of using computers to make the world a better place. I think my statement of interest said something about using AI and CD-ROMs to bring education to places where poverty limited educational opportunities. I was young, I had not thought this through very far, um, but that's what graduate school is for. Why am I sharing this story with you? I'm getting there. In recent weeks, not only have the flowers and trees of spring been in bloom, a post-pandemic metaphorical spring has also been blooming, at least in the US right now, though sadly in much of the world, they are still in the deepest of pandemic winters. But here we are emerging from our long winter of social distancing and we are beginning to venture out. And you are graduating and blooming out of CMU. Woo! None of us are the same as we were 16 months ago. We are all so much more aware of societal racial disparities, so much more aware of disinformation promulgated against across social media, so much more aware of health disparities, so much more aware of the vulnerabilities of our technology infrastructure, and so much more aware of the negative role that poorly thought through technology advancements can have on individuals and on societies. Like that rake, technology obviously can become a weapon. I'd like to share with you a quote by Professor Herb Simon. Herb had a Nobel Prize in economics. His office was in psychology. He was a luminary in cognitive psychology and artificial intelligence and helped found Carnegie Mellon School of Computer Science. He once said, our task is not to predict the future. Our task is to design a future for a sustainable and acceptable world, and then to devote our efforts to bringing that future about. We are not observers of the future. We are the actors who, whether we wish to or not, by our actions and our very existence will determine the future's shape. So again, our task is to design a future for a sustainable and acceptable world, and then to devote our efforts to bringing that future about. We are the actors who, whether we wish to or not, by our actions and our very existence, will determine the future's shape. You are emerging from your time at CMU at the same time that the world needs talented and energetic people with new ideas who are willing and capable to devote themselves to designing and implementing a sustainable and acceptable future. Uh, what can I do? What can you do? You've already practiced it as a student. In the IS Consulting Project course, 373, you learned how to bring about positive change through organizations. And in the mobile app development class or in other entrepreneurial classes, you learned how to bring positive change through bringing products to the marketplace. I am super excited about what this class will do. I feel you are ready to bust out of the gate. You're going to ride the quest of, crest of the wave that will roar out of this time of isolation and separation. You really are going to change the world. And as you do, please keep in touch. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We now invite you to visit separate Zoom breakout rooms being hosted by the IS faculty and staff. For the next 20 minutes, you can join any of them and come and go as you like. We hope you stop by and say hi and let us congratulate you in person.